Yo yeah, guys, what is going on? I don't want to make this video now, but I'm going to. And it's not because it's a bad, bad video. This, this, this is a very good, good video actually. Mob Grip, which is an, an amazing sign all the time, which means it's a new setup for video. But I'm a bit bummed because I normally film these with my fish eye just so you can see everything. The issue is, is that like the sun glare protector on it um, snapped. So I was literally just putting the cap on with, with an elastic band around it and then I took it off and then I, I looked at it and there's this fatty scratch like the whole like it's 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 in just the center the very center of the lens so you can you can like see you can see it so well and it just looks really bad i'm filming this on my long lens instead which I, I've, I've actually made it look all right and I, I don't have a tripod anymore either my tripod was really bad and it broke the other night um whilst we were taking night shots uh there's one night shot from that on my instagram um which i'll put up there or there which whichever side it is this is like this is kind of like the last one i'm, I'm doing this in two halves so i'll grip it today and then another day i'll set it up when i actually need to because basically what's happened happened with my weekend board is it's chipped loads which you probably should have seen by now in the vlog which is going up tonight so the board day is i've wanted i've wanted this board i've wanted an aisle board for the longest time so i've got this one it is the tom Knox, i think yeah tom Knox pro model board with, with rosie and tim family guy like loads of different like cool cool badges on it and stuff so i've got that and my mob grip my trusty mob grip and this time i have everything with me these are the only two things I need and the grip tape. So, my favourite part, I'm going to move back a little bit. It's really hard to do this without a tripod, actually. Ooh, should be. That is a very shiny board. Jesus Christ. That is so glossy. That's without the shrink cap on. That's so... So, first things first, I have to remove these stickers, so i got to do that now. I might need to find a different angle for this next bit, but basically I need to grip my board. Okay, so I've just rearranged my camera and I think I've sorted it all out now. I've just done all the artsy shots for later. So the concave, which I've, I've literally just done the shots for, the concave is kind of in the middle of mellow and actually it is barely mellow to be fair. Well, the kicks are quite low, they're not too high, they're pretty standard. But the concave is moderately deep. But compared to the weekend board, the nose is very pointy, but in comparison to like regular boards, it's not that pointy at all. It's just, it's just because I was used to the weekend board, which is incredibly, incredibly square. Um, and this one is very standard. It's quite a long nose, I have to say, so that's gonna take a little bit of getting used to because I've been used to such a short nose, but it shouldn't really be an issue. Okay, so after that's all done, I am going to grip the board. Okay, so I've just gripped round the board and it looks absolutely fine to me. It's not, it's not that bad. I've got dust all over my face from doing that. And then I sand down the nose a little bit as well. And that's literally it. There is a gripped skateboard. Uh, so thank you and I will see you for you in like a few seconds. Oh, my lens has just steamed up. Oh, I know, it's okay. Right, I'm gonna um, now put the trucks and wheels onto my other skateboard. So yeah, I'm going to now set up this board properly and put on the trucks and wheels um, because here's my, here's my reason. This is not a good reason for setting up a new board, but it's the only reason I have. I did the same thing as last time. I got mad trying a trick and I snapped my board. I'm not proud of this, I'm not happy about this, but it happens in skateboarding with a lot more people than you think. And I do not get the money's worth out of my boards at all. But this weekend board, I like I like the shape. I really enjoyed the shape, but the deck itself was terrible wearing. Like it chipped so much. Like there's loads on the side and everything. I mean, I mean, look at this chip. That's, a, that's such a terrible chip, isn't it? That's such a bad wearing board. But anyway, the first step is obviously to take tracks and wheels off of this and then put them on that one. So I think what I'm actually gonna do while I'm taking the trucks and wheels off, I'm gonna switch over to my fisheye and speed it all up because that normally goes down quite well. Okay, so trucks and wheels are on. On, it's been such a long day. Trucks and wheels are off. I'm now ready to set up my new board. It's got like just loads of badges on it and it's got like the stuff. Seriously. So 
So that noise is not going away, don't know what it is. But they're doing it right when I want to film a YouTube video. Ha! <laughs> Yay! So hopefully you guys can't hear it, I've shut my window now, so I'm going to be boiling. And it's all thanks to that noise. It has like a fabric texture, so I think this was a, a picture taken from like a t-shirt or a jumper or something like that. And we've got a Family Guy badge down there, we've got Rosie and Jim. And we've got like a London badge with a little bit of gold on. You can never go wrong with a little bit of gold. I love gold! And we got this silver silver shred badge as well, which I've actually never seen before. But yeah, I, I thought it was really sick and just like kind of random and I've always wanted an O-board. And this is A25, so it's perfect. So, I'm gonna get on and do the same thing again and do the speed up thing. And then I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so we are finished. Here is my fully complete skateboard. Right, I'll run through what I've got. Um, most of you know I'm still riding the same thing since my Christmas setup. If you want to see that 2017 setup, you can click right there to watch it, or right here, whichever side it is. I keep, I always forget which which side side it is, and normally I mess up, so now I just see both sides. Here I've got Thunder 147 Hollow Light, Hollow Kingpin and the hollow axles, they're highs I think. Um, I'm also riding mini logo bearings which are now pretty bad because I've had them for a while and I've got some Bones 100s which were size 52s but they've shaven down quite a, quite a lot now and they've flat bought and stuff so I also need some new wheels and bearings but my tracks are still fine. I highly recommend Thunders and I will obviously tell you guys what I think think about the deck once I've skated it a little bit and in my neck in my next video or my next vlog or something like that which is what I normally do when I get a new board or a new product or something. Thank you guys very much. Remember to like if you enjoyed this, comment anything else you want to see, comment what you liked about this, what you didn't didn't like, feedback all helps. Thank you guys so much and I'll see you next time. Peace.